Hey, when you're camping, uh, you want to get the nutrients that aren't available in plants. Uh, one of the vitamins that's not available in plants is vitamin A. So you may hear, well, eat your carrots for vitamin A. Well, vitamin A is not in a carrot. There isn't any vitamin A in vegetables. Uh, but there is beta carotene and other carotenes that can be converted to vitamin A. So I'm not saying you can't get any vitamin A from a carrot, but you can't because there's no vitamin A in a carrot. Uh, but it will give you the precursor to vitamin A. The other important nutrient is DHA, one of the fish oils, one of the omega-3 fatty acids. And you should get those in your diet on a regular basis. And there's a theory that that's what allowed our brains to grow so big. So the hunter-gatherers got big brains, and one of the ways they did it is they went nose to tail when they ate an animal, meaning they ate the nose, and they ate the tail, and they ate everything in between. Okay, so just so you know, raw fish liver is a good source of vitamin A. Now, I'm not saying eat raw fish liver every day, because if you do, you might overdose on A, and it's easy to overdose on A and they put synthetic A in so many foods. I wouldn't recommend that, but once in a while, it's good to just pop in a fresh, largemouth bass liver. Tastes nasty, but what the heck. Then, the bass also has eggs. So the eggs of a bass, it's best raw, eat the liver, then eat the eggs. You ever had sushi? That's raw. So it's like, ain't that big of a deal? Yeah, it's a little dirty, there's a few weeds on it. No big deal. A little chewy, but not bad. Okay, I got another big liver here, but I'm gonna save that for my sons, because, you know, I don't wanna hog all the vitamin A. And I just got my dose of DHA, and I'll get a little more from the fish. Okay. So, connect with nature like our ancestors did, and you'll be good. Thanks.